everybody, continuing our Pink Man reviews on tour, we have three more Transformers from my brother Simon's house. We have, all came out at the same time, which is why I put them all together. Scourge, Galvatron and Rekgar. All three are different price points, different concepts. Um, some work, some do not. Let's start with Scourge, shall we? Okay, so what is he? Is he a hovercraft? Is he an aircraft? Is he a spacecraft? Um, I think it's meant to be a hovercraft, but I've yet to see hovercrafts that fly through space. So I think that's what he's meant to be. So in terms of hovercraft mode, it's actually a very faithful representation of the movie. Um, then again, let's face it, there's not much to it. It's smooth like that with a couple of things that are pre ready made sticking out there and then a booster there and that's all there is to it. Um, he would have a gun that goes there. The faceplate that covers his face there is actually taken directly from an unused idea from the movie that he would while well flying be able to do that and see where he's going. Thank God they didn't do that because that's just a stupid idea. So that's fairly faithful representation. However, his transformation is where it all comes to pot. Much like the original Cyclonus. So, we start off by popping these out like so. These, believe it or not, are going to be his feet. However, we'll do those a little bit because we now need to just pop this out like that. Comes up like that. This pops out like that. This bit now folds down here. Head goes up and that goes there. So it does rotate all the way down but really you need it up there. Normally you would have a, a little hood or hat which sticks in there which is a gun. Arms. Right, onto the feet. So it rotates like that. You've then got a foot here. Let's rotate like that. Because of some of the loose joints, um, the head you notice has come come down. Same deal here. Round like that. There's a foot. Oh. It's a bit odd, isn't it? On the one hand, you've got quite good arms. A um, little bit thin, but they're actually quite good arms. Obvious hands. Now, it's more than Cyclonus ever had. His hands are virtually non-existent. And then the head. It's so blocky around here, and then really detailed here. It's, it's like it's almost two things stuck together. It doesn't quite go. It would be better if this blockiness wasn't here, but I guess they were a little bit torn by what they could do. And the legs, again, you have a little bit of that um, streak there and then just blockiness with that form. So it's kind of, it's a bit difficult to stand up because of, of, the, of the compromises between his feet and the blockiness of the alt mode. It's very much, because I mean, it's all quite loose, it's not going to be able to go firmly in place. It's kind of almost a robot two halves. You've got a very sleek inner robot with all the blockiness of its exterior form. For me, it doesn't work um, as a robot. As a, a hovercraft, it's probably the most realistic scourge I've seen. Um, so I think that works very well. On to Galvatron with his cannon. Now Galvatron was meant to be a, well he is, a light up laser figure. Um, I haven't put the batteries in because it's quite difficult to find batteries that will work sometimes and actually it's quite difficult move but the idea is the batteries are stored in here. As a cannon it's not particularly impressive. I'm not entirely convinced there we are that, that was transformed correctly. There we go. That's better. Right now I'm happier with the transformation of the cannon. As a cannon I'm not really that convinced by some of it. I can see what they're going for. The the speckles in the gold here are particularly good however. Um, it's wheeled, so the idea is that he can move, both in terms of the tracks, and actually there really are wheels on there, so he really can move. That's probably one of his best modes, it has to be said. Um, as disappointed as it is, it's probably his best mode. He is a triple changer, surprisingly. The idea that, hey kids, you two can wield a gun. Like that, and that's the trigger. Um, yeah, not much of a triple changer. And then it's on to the very disappointing robot mode. So, feet come out here. They are a bit puny compared to the rest of him. 
these come out here. Now in here are his hands. Again, nice concept stored away in the arms. Gets them out of the way. They seem a bit puny in comparison to the rest of his arm, but there we are. This just flips out of the way here, rotates down, arms come out. This comes off here. You slot all this down, what we will do once this is all out of the way. This needs to come up here, slot that down to release the head. As for this, much in the um, Legends and Titans Return release actually, you slot that on there, and there is the cannon. Well, again, you can see what they're going for here, it's very much done on the future retro style that all of the movie characters are done, but as a robot, it's, it's, it's poor. It's very, very tall, considerably taller than Megatron was, but fully, it's so disproportionate. I mean, you've got huge, chunky forearms here with tiny, tiny hands. Um, it's ridiculous with that. And then you've got the huge, chunky leg here with tiny, tiny feet. And then the, the head is not good at all. I have seen homebrew version of this where they've rotated the crown so that you've got these at the side and that's the front and it looks far better as a crown so I actually think that the original is perhaps not in the right spot I suppose the circular head works better than Scourge's square head um, but it's not good is it? Um, this is the main reason I didn't buy Galtron for a long long time until recent releases and third party releases were made on to Retgar um, Retgar is a slight oddity. He was for many years the only Junkion ever made um, and reasonably effective. So he comes with his axe. You've got real rubber on the tyres um, which surprisingly hasn't deteriorated at all with age. Transforming him is somewhat unusual as well. Um, before we go too much further, this is metal. Again, unusual on any Transformers uh, to have metal but there we are. A lot of it would be like this here, which is metal coloured plastic, but this part here is real metal. Okay, so this pops down like that. We then will pop this down to begin later on, but what I want to do first is to get these out of the way, which I think will rotate down like so. Here you can see kind of how the legs come apart a bit. Some parts of it are quite loose, other parts of it are not. There we are. Just need to wiggle that free so that, that, so that this wheel isn't attached. And then that will wiggle down. Because it probably does need to stay attached. It's just very, very tight. Moving them down. No, you do have to unattach the wheel to move the leg down. And then this one should also move, but for some reason it's very, very stuck. I wonder why. It's, ah, it's the wheel. The wheel actually, you've got very little movement here, but the wheel actually has to come completely off. I'm feeling in later models, yeah, and in this one, it rotates round like that. It's just... You've got no room to work with and the tyre will often come off, it's alright, but there's nothing to worry about with that. There's just because there's no room to work with, so you then just put it back on, like so. Very awkward and very, very tight transformation there. You kind of feel they could have done that a bit easier, but never mind. Okay, so, this bit, it moves up and down, it's a bit pointless because it's in the same place either way. Head. You're going to love this. Pop that down like that. Okay, I've seen better heads. Um, there, in one hand he has his wheel, which becomes a shield. In the other, he has his throwing axe. Mm. Yeah. He's surprisingly tall. Um... His head is non virtually non-existent. Um, I, I kind of would like to be able to say that this part rotated up so the handlebars stuck out, but actually it doesn't. It stays like that, it's all fixed in place. 
So it just looks, I don't know. Again, it's, it's trying to keep that future retro look. Um, innovative use of the wheel, there. That bit sliding out there is a good idea, but it's so stiff and difficult to move. Um, it's a bit hard to do, but yeah, it's just disappointing, I think. That could have been so much more. And, and the head is the head is poor. Um, it would have been better, to be honest, if they kept that like that, and they'd had the head which folded down completely, rather than just that. I mean, you, you can't see at all. He does have quite good movement here um, and surprisingly odd movement with his legs he can kind of do a kick do the kanker. but that's about it so yeah of the three of them I'd have to say that actually Scourge is probably the best one um, Galvatron is interested in that he has the light and the sound effects but he's a far, and he is better than the Rodimus Prime release but he's far worse than the Ultra Magnus release Bear in mind though, Ultra Magnus was an already existing Diaclone, whereas Galvatron is a brand new mould. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next review. Goodbye.